Hey guys, welcome back. So it might be obvious now, some of my favorite comics are those really bizarre ones from the Silver Age. And today, I got a good one. It's when Batman turns Superman into a caveman. It's a short story, but it's really fun. Honestly, this would have been a much better storyline for Batman v Superman than the one they actually put on film. Why did you say that, Dad? But this story takes place in World's Finest number 151. The story opens with a Superman robot in space being destroyed by a lost object from Krypton that's just randomly floating through space. And very conveniently, the object is going to be landing on Earth in a few days. And because it's from Krypton, Superman really wants to study it. The only problem is that it's emitting green kryptonite, which is deadly to Superman, so he goes and asks Batman to help him retrieve it. And they put out a giant net for the object to land in from space, and for some reason this works and it lands perfectly safe. So Batman takes it back to his Batcave, and he finds that it's an invention called the Evolution Accelerator. And the Evolution Accelerator has two functions can either accelerate a bean's evolution or de-evolve someone. And the accelerator conveniently has just enough fuel for two more uses. And Batman immediately turns the invention on himself, and he evolves himself 800,000 years into the future, giving him super intelligence, so much so, his head is so big that he can no longer even wear his mask. Batman then tells Superman that he's going to evolve him too. Unfortunately, Batman's super intelligence came at a cost. He lost his humanity. So secretly, Batman plans on actually de-evolving Superman, just to get rid of the competition. So he turns the ray on Superman and de-evolves him 800,000 years to the past, essentially turning Superman into a super caveman. And apparently, to be a caveman, you have to grow a beard instantly. Also wasn't this invention covered in green kryptonite, so certain of this killed Superman? This new super smart but super rude Batman tells Superman to go home, and Super Caveman flies off. Robin kind of just strolls in, he's like, whoa! Batman, what's wrong with your head? And Batman appropriately responds by calling him a stupid dolt, and that Robin too should leave because he's got to create a weapon to rule the whole world. We then jump back to Super Caveman, who's now in the big city, and he's scared. So he fashions himself a club to fight off the evildoers, till he sees the Daily Planet, and somewhat remembering it, decides to make this his new home. And since cavemen live in caves, he just busts a hole in the building to give it that good old fashioned cave feeling. But cavemen get hungry, so he needs to forcefully take a cave woman to cook him meals, so he grabs Lois. Apparently, Super Caveman wouldn't be considered super woke, but with Superman causing such a ruckus, the evolved Batman comes to save the day. And when Superman sees him, he's like, oh, Batman, you're my friend. And Batman rudely responds, no one is your friend. Get out of here. Why don't you go back to your own time? And he tells Superman to use his super speed to travel back in time to the age of cavemen, where he belongs, because everybody hates you. This makes Super Caveman sad, but he agrees. At the same time, Superman's dog Crypto has learned what happened, and he also travels in time, but he doesn't know when, so he's gonna just keep looking. Superman, who's now in prehistoric times, has to deal with all kinds of prehistoric problems, like beating up giant sloths with clubs, beating up other cavemen, and he does this until he finds a cavewoman version of Lois. But he can't understand her, so he's sad again, and begins to miss the time that he belongs in. And he just sits there and thinks, until he remembers, that it was Batman who turned him into a caveman. Oh, and this makes him mad, and he wants revenge. So he travels way into the future, because Batman has given up on dominating the world and built a time machine to travel 800,000 years in the future to be among people of his own brain capacity. But that doesn't stop Superman, he also travels 800,000 years in the future, and he sees Batman with all of his smug, elitist, genius friends. And they think they can just easily trick this primitive caveman by just using a projector, which seems like some pretty weak technology, for 800,000 years in the future. But Superman figures it out, and just because Batman is smarter than he is, Superman will always be way stronger. And still none of Batman's futuristic weapons can even hurt Superman. And the Man of Steel picks up Batman, and then takes him back to prehistoric times to teach him a lesson. And Batman quickly learns that he's not gonna survive very long living in prehistoric times. He doesn't have the strength of Superman. But come on, Batman has defeated Darkseid, but he can't survive against a saber-toothed tiger. Anyway, Batman apologizes to Super Caveman, and they rebuild the evolution accelerator out of stones. And this is possible because comics. But that dill hole Batman is up to his old ways again, and again plans on de-evolving Superman another 800,000 years into the past. But then Crypto finally finds Superman and saves him, and Super Caveman throws Batman into the ray that was meant for him, which then turns him back into normal Batman. And with Batman being back to his normal self, he again apologizes to Superman and tells him that he will actually revert him back to his old self. Which he does, and Superman takes Batman, and they travel to the current time. And they agree to destroy the Evolution Accelerator, so this will never be a problem again. But that's the story of when Batman turned Superman into a caveman. Hope you guys liked it, if you did, make sure you hit that like button if you want to see more videos like this. 
Make sure you subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.